Welcome to another edition of Timoteo TV. We're back. This is for your week four edition here. Um, hey guys, again, a tremendous week. Um, you know, uh, this last week, uh, let's talk real quick about the Young League, the Sunday League Sunday we got league. going, man. Let's give those kids some prop. Hey guys, thank you parents, thank you volunteers, uh, thank you kids for coming uh, and making our first day a success. If you guys don't know, we have started a Younger League. It's on Sundays. Ages run from four to 14, four different age groups, and it's boys and girls, all right? We definitely got a lot of guys out there. We got some girls, yep. but we need help getting some more girls out there, all right? Girls flag football is growing quick, and we definitely want to get some more girls out there. So all my girl dads, where you guys at, man? Bring your kids out uh, to, uh, it's still easy to sign up, guys. Link is in the bio. It's the Lighthouse Timoteo Football League, and that's for the younger kids. All right, hey guys, just want to announce also, we got family day coming up uh, May 7th. Yep. Uh, so hey, you want to invite your families out. Uh, Lighthouse will be having an event there. It's called Philly Truth Day. Um, and they'll be out there with a bunch of different people providing a lot of services uh, for anybody that want to come. So if you want to invite your little brothers, your moms, grandmoms, whatever, that's the day to come um, and check us out for, uh, for, for that, for that uh, family day. That's May 7th. Also, real quick, coaches, any of you young guys that want to get involved in coaching in the summer camp, you're looking for a summer job, all right? Hey, look, start to hit us up. Contact me, Leo, Sean, Eric. Let us know you're interested because the process to sign up and get paid to be a coach, it takes a little while. So uh, so if you're interested in coaching in the summer camp, let us know. Hit up Leo, Sean, me, or Eric, all right? And, and let, now let's get into our games from yeah, last man. week, man. It was a good week. It was a good week. Yeah, man. some some fun games. Man. Some fun games. So so let's start from the beginning. All right, you yep. got the Cardinals defeating the Steelers. Both teams were a little short-handed. There was like a tournament going on. Yeah. I think. Yep. The yeah. kids went. Did you get to watch this game? Uh, I didn't. So we played the next game. So we were warming up, but I kept catching glimpses of it. Uh huh. And what every, were you saying? Every time I looked over, it was an interception. It was a lot of interceptions in this game. No, for sure, yeah, man. I, yeah. The Cardinals' defense, even their quarterback showed up late. Yeah. And and they were able to keep the momentum going, just getting off. I think they scored, maybe even their first touchdown was a pick six. I think they had yeah, I think the, it three. Was the first play of the game might have been a pick six. Gotcha. Yeah, it was, it was it early. Was, Whatever. It was, it was early in the game, they, they came out yeah. and started doing stuff. Now, the Steelers, they didn't have their quarterback. For right? sure. So they, so they were missing Sox a bunch of there. players. Mm -hmm. A lot of guys were, yeah, that 7-on-7. Seven seven, um, a lot of guys weren't there. They ended up getting there, um, and it just might have been a little bit too late, a little too little too late. For sure, man. Um, so I, we know that wasn't the best we've seen from the Steelers, yeah. but the Cardinals just continue to to just outperform each week, man. Absolutely. I mean, they're a team you got to watch out for, man. They won that game forty-two to six. In our second game, man, we got the this was the kind of like the donut bowl, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We finally had uh, we had both teams that hadn't won a game yet, uh, and so the Eagles were able to get their first win. First win of the season. Yeah. Um, so, guys, how did you guys get there? What, what did you guys do a little different? Yeah, I, I think, uh, you know, we, we really spent a lot of time emphasizing defense. Um, you know, practice, the practice going into the week, talked a lot about defense. At halftime, we talked a lot about defense. And then finally in the second half, the defense showed up. I think we ended uh, with three pick sixes uh, in the second half. That really was able to kind of open up the scoring and kind of, you know, kind of turn the momentum up and keep those guys going so and, it was a big deal and if you look at the top 10 spoiler alert if you look at the the number one play you're gonna see a lot of them pick sixes yeah all right i, I don't know if they got them all but they got a lot on there these yeah. pick sixes. Yeah, this week was the week of the pick six for sure for sure man all right now let's get to our other game we had the pack nine over the chiefs yeah uh you know this is your your typical david and goliath kind of matchup here yeah uh you know the pack nine just been in for a while chiefs still kind of figuring it out but I think at this point now, you kind of, um, for the Chiefs, the, 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 the people who are going to be consistent, they're, they're, they're still coming. I and mean, you yeah. kind of weeded out the quitters. For sure. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. I think it's only it's only up for them here. Um, but the Pac-9, man, Dave was real confident. A lot of his young guys, man, he put, uh, I think, Jaden Orlando. Um, I think there's another Jaden, Xavier, Ethan. Jalil, he put them all out there early to yeah. play, uh, and, and they came through with them. So shout out to uh, to the the Pac-9 and their young guys, man. The future is definitely bright over there. Oh, for again. sure, for sure, for sure. And then we had, 
you know, this ended up being a game of the week. week. Yeah, not Absolutely. yeah, absolute game of the week. Bucks over Vikings. Uh, it ended up being an eight point difference. It was twenty seven to nineteen, but it came down to the end. Six inches. Got gotcha, right. Eight inches. I mean, the game was decided by inches. So let, let's go over real quick. So you have uh, the quarterback uh, for the Vikings. Uh -huh. uh, he throws, I believe, a pick six to Jay. Yep. Jay scores, and then, and I think it either puts them up six or seven, whether they got the extra point or yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. So it kind of left it open to where. Yeah, so there was a point when that happened, where and, and me and you have talked about it this week already too. I know I talked about it, I was watching that game from the sideline, where if Jay just lays down, goes, stops, you know, doesn't score. They run the clock out. They win the game. It doesn't even get close. Right, right. Um, but you know the moment, like when you like the kids running back, like it's hard to stop. So you, you run into the end zone. You score the touchdown. Yeah, and and and, and that was literally end zone to end zone. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, uh, so the Vikings quarterback takes him down there, about to put him in position to take the lead. I right. think they would have took the lead yeah, here. Yeah. He throws the pick, yeah. um, and then you think the game's over, yeah. and then he kind of shows you. Uh, just his backbone here, man. Oh yeah, oh, my guy yeah, is yeah. tough. He now he, he drives great, him down man. the field, man. Drives him down the field again. Yep. Uh, you know, there's almost like a Patrick Mahomes type of drive here. Yeah. Uh, and um, and I think it was was it fourth down or it maybe wasn't even fourth down, but it was maybe like I think seconds it was two left. seconds when they snapped the ball. So right. whatever it was, yeah, I don't know if it was third or fourth, but there was two, it was the last play. Right. Of the game. So Leo's team they blitz the Bucks blitz. Yep. He rolls out to the right. And I'm watching from the sideline, and he gets close to the end zone, and it could go either it's way. You have a stretch, you have the flag, and so this this call went to the uh, to the, the, the uh, to the Bucks' favor here. You were right there yeah, in the video. Yeah. I can see. What were you thinking? I had no clue. It was so close, man. I, I really I couldn't make up my mind if he was in or not. It was inches, man. man inches, inches. I seen two different camera angles, and on both of them. I seen a different kind of result. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if I had to guess, I mean, he was just so close. I want to say that possibly the tip of the ball crossed, but you just never know. All I know, the referee was right there. He was, he he was, was in, in the right position. position. Yeah, yeah, he was in the right position. Yeah. But that's a tough call, man. But it shows you that the Vikings are, they're making a statement, man. They're, they're here yeah. to compete with the big boys. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and so the Bucks were undefeated. Um, and they came in and, and, and played all the way to the end with, with, with that team now, man. So we got the standings now. We got the Cardinals and the Bucks undefeated, both at 3-0. and You got the Pac-9, two of the only two-in-one team right now. Then you got the Steelers, Eagles, Vikes, and Chiefs at 1-2, and two, and then the Broncos 0-3. Oh yep. so, so now we're heading into week four. Yeah. We got some crazy games to, to start off this week. Um, but as a coach, just real quick, what is what is the the top now to your team? We're kind of getting through the midpoint. What are you kind of looking for? Yeah. So so what you said earlier matters, right? You're gonna have uh, you, you probably have more guys coming to practice last week and the week before, right? Little by little, those guys are starting to kind of wean out, and now you're starting to really have the core of your team, right? And so a lot of it for me is like, hey. How are we getting better every week? What are we doing, right? Is that the, we're not looking for drastic improvement from week to week. We're just looking to get a little bit better every week, a little bit better every week, right? This is a year, uh, you know, it, it changes for us year to year, how many teams are in, how many people are gonna make the playoffs. Uh, and this is one of those years where we're at eight teams, so all eight teams make the playoffs. So really, the standings after three weeks don't matter, right? What are you doing to get better every week, right? And, and how are you, um, working on those things. So wh whether it's defensively, right? For for the Eagles, it's, hey man, we get down to the goal line, well, how are we gonna punch it in this week, right? right. Like, how are we gonna fix the things? I'll tell you, last week our defense carried us, right? Three pick sixes. Uh, we I think we gave up the <clears throat> first score. Um, I think the, the touchdown was the first score uh, for the Broncos, and then we go 31 straight. Yeah, that. I think that was uh, the touchdown to Rell. To Rell, yeah, He's yeah, yeah. wishing uh, Serge a happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah, Serge, in the end yeah. zone over there, yeah. Um, you know, so so for us, okay, hey, our defense is starting to come together. That's something that we have been working on. Now, can we get the offense to catch up, right? So everything's going to have something a little bit different, right? What is the thing that you need to improve on, and what are you doing to, to make that, uh, to get better at that? Yeah. Right? And I, I think that's every week, are we getting a little bit better? Yeah, I know for me, uh, I, I, I haven't coached in a while, but um, uh, to me, I always kind of, you start to look for your captains, who are your leaders, yep. um, and then start to challenge them a little bit more. Like, you know, like my quarterbacks and my defensive leaders, man, are they watching film? Right. You know what I mean? They should be able to come to me 
with something to, to improve what we're doing. Yeah. Uh, and But if they're not putting in that work and now you're gonna see which teams are comfortable where they're at and which teams are which teams are striving for more. So it'll be interesting yeah. to see where the league goes from here. I think the standards can be drastically different by the time we get to the end. Oh, but let, absolutely. But let's talk about our week four matchups, man. We yeah. got the 10 o'clock game. Yeah. You got the Broncos versus the Steelers, right? So the Steelers, you know, they, they didn't come to play. Let's make a lot of mistakes. Turn the ball over. You're not going to win like that no matter how talented you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, when you give up a lot of interceptions, especially for scores, you're, you're putting yourself into a corner that's hard to get out of. Yeah. Right? Um, I don't think that that's the typical Steelers that we're going to see week to week. Right? I think that's uh, an outlier, uh, and I think we probably get back to seeing what we expect from the Steelers, which is a lot of points offens offensively, a lot of sacks defensively, a lot of pressure. Uh, and again, against a Broncos team that's still kind of figuring out who they are, right? We really didn't mention that. We talked about the Chiefs kind of figuring it out, the Vikings kind of, um, you know, coming out strong for a new team. But the Broncos are a new team, right? A team that was really kind of put together just two weeks ago, right? right. Had some really young coaches, a really young team that really doesn't have chemistry, right? So that's a team that's working, right? They have some talent. Are they bringing it together? How are they getting better week to week? Right? And, and, and you see splashes, man. You see some of the guys. You can already kind of see for the Broncos which kids are going to end up evolving for sure um, into those next kind of superstars. Um, mm -hmm. And with the Steelers, I hope they didn't come in with the mentality thinking that this year was going to be sweet. I, I hope, to defend I, yeah, the chance. Right? Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, I, I talk to a lot of those guys every week, man. They seem hungry. Uh, yeah. They don't. I, they don't feel complacent. Yeah. Um, I think again, even though you have you lose a game where your guys aren't all there. I think losing like that is embarrassing, right? And I think yeah. it, it makes them say, hey, that's not who we are. That's not what we want to represent. Um, and I, you know, I talk to Kev a lot, man. Kev's a, a prideful guy. He wants to make sure that his guys aren't representing him like that. You know what I'm saying? So I, I don't expect to see that kind of performance from the Steelers again. Right. I, I, if you're going to be frustrated and, you know, you're going to be upset that you're losing, uh, you know, you better bring that same energy to practice. Are For you sure. guys practicing? Are you guys, you know, doing what you're supposed to be doing? Right. Because if not, you need to look in before you start looking. Well, yeah, for sure. If, if, if you're in. not working to get better, then then you shouldn't expect yeah. better results. But they definitely got a core there that is, is, is amazing. We just got to see mentally if they're tough enough to kind of deal with the, yeah. the, the, the early adversity. Yeah, of the season, yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, so that's your 10 o'clock game. Let's go to your 11 o'clock game. Well, it's the one, right? This is it. <laughs> game of the week. This is. I mean, at least week. going into the game, on paper, this is game of the week. This is the game of the week. Now, yeah. we don't know if anyone's going to steal the show like the Vikes for and Bucks sure, did. For right? You never know. But on paper, going in, this is game of the This league. is it. Card yeah. versus Bucks. You yeah. know what I mean? You know. At the end of this, there's only one undefeated team left. That's it. So this is this is the one to just say, hey, we're halfway through the season. We're the leaders in the clubhouse. We're the dogs. Come get us. Yeah, right? and, and, and you look at the Cardinals, man. Like they, they definitely struggled out their quarterback there. And I'm not sure what happened, why he got there later, what. Sure. But um, once he got there, you started to see the dynamic change on offense and Absolutely. the control that he has. The kid is super talented, man. Sure, man. Um, and we, sure. we, you know, it, it's going to be interesting to watch him even develop even more. But but the Bucks defense are nothing to play with either. Absolutely, man. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, they're definitely fundamentally sound. Yep. Um, and this match is going to be interesting. Now the Bucks they had a new quarterback last week. Yeah. I didn't see JoJo. Yeah, no, I didn't see JoJo out there. At all, man. Yeah. You, you can't miss JoJo with a little bun no, and all yeah, that here, man. You see him, you know he's there, man. So, so they had uh, uh, Jalil making his first uh, uh, his uh, his first start. First start for the Bucks. Uh, yeah. And I thought he did well, man. Yeah, he, well, he's got a cannon. Yeah, he's got a big arm. That's We know that, right? He's got single player experience, right? He was on the Bills last year. Yeah. So it's not like, even though he's a new quarterback, he doesn't... Uh, he hasn't seen our league before, what right. we do, and, and, and so, you know, he's not a kid that's walking in, you know, green, right? Like, yeah. he's got experience. The Bills last year were a tough team, right? Tough out. Um, and so, he's a good good quarterback, big arm, uh, and, you know, you trust Leo. Like to the defense, Al, Al's got that defense rolling every year, right? right. And so, uh, watching Leo, you know, kind of take a risk to say, hey, you know, JoJo's got us to 2-0, but we're going to trust that... Um, that, that Jello is going to take us to that next level. Right. Um, and, and then to be able to pull out a big win like that. So just just real quick, man, how do you handle a situation like that when you got two undefeated quarterbacks, man? I, have you been in that situation before where you've had to make tough decisions at quarterback? No. No, you've no. never had. I, last year you had, I forgot what the Jeff last year. We had Jason. Year. Jason. So yeah. Jason, what's so the kind we, of we, Yeah, we, we started with like Gio and Andy kind of just, just kind of like uh, – you know, captain in the boat until, yeah. you know, our, our, so, our, our guy. So, just there. real quick, what do you look for in a quarterback 
to kind of lead your team? Because you got two different styles, right? So you feel like JoJo is going to make every throw he's told to make, and he's going to not try to force anything and, you know, not try to be the... Yeah, so, I mean, that really, you know, that's why I think it's a tough decision, you know, and, and Leo, you know, Rob chose what he chose and did what he did. But it's tough, right, because you know... Hey, this is the offense I want to run. These are the places that I want you to throw the ball, and JoJo's going to make those throws. Right. All right. And and Jalil is going to challenge uh, defenders deep. Right. Jalil's going to uh, he's going to want to put it up. Right. And right. JoJo is going to do what's right in front of him. Right. So that is tough, man, to, to figure it out. Um, and, and right now it looks like he made the right decision. Right. He's still three and zero, and so he's going to keep you know riding uh, what he thinks is the the hot hand. Got you. Well, all, all I know is regardless of what, the Cardinals secondary are going to challenge the Bucks For sure. In every way possible. Because yeah. that defense, it's got to be the best defense Cornell has ever had. Yes, yeah, um, and, and they look interesting. So this is a game you're going to watch. It's going to be at 11 o'clock. Watch these the two undefeated teams kind of battle out. Now we get into back, we got the 12 o'clock game. We got the Eagles coming off their first win, yep. going against the Chiefs here. What, what are you... How do you prepare your, your, your team here? What are you saying uh, when yeah. the come in? Like I told you earlier, man, for us, it, you know, it's, look, this is a, a good team that's still figuring it out, right? For us, what are we doing to get better, right? And so this week in practice, uh, we took a lot of time to really figure out, hey, we're able to get down the field. How are we going to punch it in? What are we going to do to take those, you know, those short yardage goal line plays and make sure that we're converting them to touchdowns and not turnover on them? For sure, man. And you so. definitely can see the Chiefs starting to starting to figure out things are starting to kind of click as they go. Yeah. They got unfortunate with just some mistakes. It was a they tried an onside punt. Yeah, the onside uh -huh. punt. That's the first time in Timothy history. The yeah, onside yeah, punt. The onside punt. Yeah. You know, but it's just little things like that. You know, as as you kind of gain uh, your experience, um, you know, it's gonna it's gonna work for you guys. You know, and so they just gotta continue to kind of to push through this yeah. and you know take these that, games and, as a lesson. Yeah, that punt is an example of just like. Just kind of how you evolve, right? Yeah. Because I can tell you, when we first started, you know, when we were the Dolphins, we probably didn't practice punts for three weeks, right? right? Like, you just don't think about it. As you're trying to get better, and you're a new team, and you're trying to figure everything out, you're like, all right, our, our offense, what do we do with defense? How do we do this? How do we do this? And you never think about the punt. You don't yeah. practice it. You don't, you know, so that's something that I, I promise you that they practiced, and uh, that they worked on in practice this week. For sure. And, you know? and, and just, just looking at the Chiefs, too, man, they look like they're having fun out there. Um, and if they're just going to continue to get better. They're going to work hard, man. Yeah, so this should be an interesting game. Not a team to overlook, but that's the 12 o'clock game. Then we got the closers here. We got the, the Vikings, which, you know, if somebody's trying to steal the show versus the Pac-9, this could end up being the For game sure. of the week. This has definitely be. game of the week potential. Gotcha. So Absolutely. it's like the Vikings have another opportunity to kind of make a statement. To make a statement. And the Pac-9, you know, coming off a big win. Um, and you know, so so we'll see what happens here, man. This game here is gonna be very interesting. I just want to say, I'm so far. I mean, the Pac-9 they do what they have to do every year. Every year. And the Vikings though have impressed me so Thank far you. this year, and I think they're gonna make strides as long as they continue to put the work that they're going. But hey, guys, come check out the games this week. If you haven't signed up for the young the young buck league, you know that's our Sundays now. Look, we got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, and 13, 14. Those are the four age groups. The link is in the bio. Lighthouse flag football. Um, and um, and just come. Come come check us out. You know, we're partnering with Lighthouse to provide this league. Uh, and, and it had a big turnout. And we have a couple spots left. So if you're interested, alumni, whatever, come bring your kids out. Uh, and I just want to close with the verse of the week. Yeah. Uh, so the theme this week is teamwork. Teamwork, yeah. Uh, and we're going. It says, iron, sharp, uh, iron sharpens iron as one man sharpens another. All right, and that's Proverbs 27, 17. So that's what we talked about, guys. What are you kind of doing as a teammate to improve your team? But check you out. I'll see you this week at Tim Hotel. I don't want to lose my balance when I'm staring at stars. I just want to live for the world. I don't want to lose my balance when I'm staring at stars.